I'm currently making over $200 a month with this space weather station that I have mounted on my roof. It's been almost a year since I last covered this project, but given the huge increase in the geo token price recently, I think it's time we take another look. Stay tuned because later in this video, I'm going to share with you a new project I just found where we can actually dual mine with this antenna to potentially make even more. Plus, I'm going to give away one of these new miners to one of you. So what the heck is a space weather station? GeoNet is a decentralized network of these space weather mining stations that report the influence of the sun's solar winds on the Earth's Global Navigation Satellite System, or GNSS signals. Whoa, that sounds complex, right? Just think tiny centimeter adjustments to GPS signals to prove their accuracy. This could be used for such applications as autonomous driving, earthquake monitoring, land surveying, and potentially many other use cases. Essentially, you mount this antenna to your roof, make sure it's got a clear view of the sky, connect it to a receiver, and then get rewarded in these geode cryptocurrency tokens for providing data. Currently, there are just under 4,000 of these devices mounted on people's rooftops around the globe. So I think this is still very much a hidden gem of a project. I've had mine up and running for about two years now, and I've never had to troubleshoot it or reset it. It just works, and I get my rewards like clockwork every single day. If you've ever dealt with owning any cryptocurrency miners before, you know it's very rare to see that. This project falls within crypto's deep end space, which stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. It involves using blockchain technology and token incentives to build and maintain physical infrastructure. A lot of the miners we review on this channel fall within this category and can be seen on this map here. And many have seen some huge rises in their token prices recently. I think this space will be one of the biggest winners in this bull market, so it's not something you should dismiss. But also, this isn't financial advice. So far, I've made over $3,500 with my one Hyfix space weather station, which mines the GEO token, largely because I got into this project early, before the token launched, and during the bear market. As I've said many times in this channel, those who get into these projects the earliest tend to make the most. So subscribe so you don't miss out on the next big project. Maybe it'll be the one that I'm using this antenna for to dual mine with. More on that shortly. Like I mentioned earlier, this miner earns the GEO token, which has been on an absolute tear recently. It's currently trading for just over 13 cents, up over 300% just in the past few months. It's still a tiny project, ranked number 3,819th, with a market cap of just $10.7 million. So a lot of room to run to the upside, in my opinion. We compare it to some of the other projects within this distributed computing space. You can see the potential upside just to get to some other mark caps. Um, just to match MXC, it's a 100% gain from here. You look at some of these other projects that we're involved in. Demo, it's basically a 10x to get to Demo's current size, uh, 17-18x to get to Hive Mapper, and some of the larger projects. Obviously, it's probably never going to get to Helium size, but you're looking at about 120x. Uh, to get to the current size of helium. Now that's not to say that it's going to overtake any of these coins. I'm just highlighting how small this project just still is. If we go into a full bull market here over the next year or two, I think there's room for this product to really run. It is traded on the Polygon network, which is nice because that means low fees to sell your tokens. Uh, it's not yet listed on any major exchanges yet, but you can swap it for Matic or stable coins using the DEX's Uniswap or QuickSwap, which can do right within most wallets. I've swapped Geode in both MetaMask and my Phantom wallet, and I've had no issues. Personally, I love using the Phantom wallet lately. It's so much easier to use than MetaMask, but this also is not a wallet review, so let's move on. Next, let's look at my current earnings for GeodeNet. Right now, I'm earning about 47 GEO tokens per day. Uh, the maximum is 48 tokens per day, but I do have some trees around my house, and I think they're slightly blocking my signal and reducing my earnings slightly, but not a big deal in my opinion. Uh, the current price for the GEO token today on January 18th is 13.25 cents per token. So that equals total earnings per day of $6.23. Now, obviously, the price of the GEO token is likely going to be much different when you're watching this video versus when I'm filming it, which will obviously change the dollar value of those earnings. I checked the power usage of my receiver and found it only uses about 2 watts of electricity, which comes out to about a penny a day in electricity, so I excluded it from this analysis. Now, this device is a little pricier than a lot of the other miners we review on this channel, coming in at $695. I did reach out to the Hyfix team and I was able to get you guys a nice discount of 10%, so you can use my Q code SWAN and it'll save you 10%, bringing that cost down to about $625. They've added a note on their website that orders placed now will likely ship by late February 2024, which I'm not surprised to see right now. We're seeing some delays from Demo and Hive Mapper as well, now that they're extremely profitable and everyone's trying to jump in. 
So based on the cost and the earnings I'm seeing right now, we're looking at a break even time of just about 100 days or 3.3 months. Very quick compared to most other miners you'll see out there. The fact that there are no real ongoing costs or maintenance really makes this a good device to get in my opinion. But I also understand this is a little pricier than a lot of the other miners we review on this channel. So if it's out of your price range, that's okay. Take a pass, there'll always be other miners. Which leads me to the new project I'm mining with my antenna, which is called Onacoy. From what I can tell from reading their white paper, Onacoy is building a very similar network as GeoNet. They have a network of about 2,000 stations globally, so about half the current size of GeoNet at this point. Their token, which will have the ticker ONO, is not yet live, but word is they're trying to target to go live here in the next few months. I have this receiver which I'm using to mine on Onacoy. Unfortunately, you can't repurpose the Hyfix receiver to mine on both GeoNet and Onacoy. I purchased my receiver from GNS Electronics during their Black Friday sale last year. I then purchased a GPS slash GNSS antenna splitter so I could utilize my Hyfix station antenna for this project as well. It saved me about a hundred bucks by doing that and it meant me not having to climb up on my roof again to install another antenna, which my wife appreciated. She hates it when I have to get on the roof. I found out about Onacoy by following Il Capo Fox's X account. I followed one of his threads he did to make sure I did my install correctly. There are also directions on Onacoy's website. It was pretty easy to do, so I'm not going to go through that in detail in this video. I will link El Capo Fox's X account in the description below. Give him a follow if you will. Right now, during their testnet phase, Onacoy station owners earn the Bono token, which will be converted to their Ono token once the main net goes live. Right now, I'm earning about four Bono tokens per day with my station. According to their white paper, they are targeting earnings of about $1,000 per year for each station, but obviously that is just an estimate at this point. We won't know the actual numbers until the Ono token goes live. Let's review some different purchase options real quick. So what I did here was try to lay out the estimated purchase costs for three different options. None of these include the sales tax or shipping costs since everyone's is going to be a little bit different. Now your first option is to just mine the Geo token with the Hyfix space weather station. This includes the Hyfix receiver, antenna, and wiring with the 10% discount you're looking at a cost of $625. Now this is a good option in my opinion since you're getting real earnings right away. I also put the mounting bracket that I bought on Amazon here since you'll need to mount that antenna to something. So this is the lowest cost option and you're looking at a net cost of $642 plus you'll have some additional costs for taxes and shipping. Now your second option is to just mine Onacoy. GNS Electronics has a bundle which includes their receiver, antenna, and wiring. I reach out to them as well, and they're also offering a 10% discount if you use my discount code SWAN. Uh, if you add in the Amazon mounting bracket, you're looking at a cost that's just slightly higher than GeoNet at $675, and also include uh, taxes and shipping on top of that. Now the third option, which is the one I've done, and it's also the most expensive option is I bought the Hyfix Space Weather Station just to mine Geode, and then I purchased the receiver and GNSS antenna splitter for Onacoy from GNS Electronics, plus uh, the mounting bracket. So I'm dual mining both GeodeNet and Onacoy using a single antenna. And the cost comes in at $1,151, but that is about $160 less than if you were to purchase uh, the GeodeNet and the Onacoy full bundles separately. GNS Electronics has graciously offered to give away one of their NTRIP X base station bundles to one of you watching this video. So you can get into the Onacoy project today at no cost to you. So that's option number two in the purchase option analysis we just went over. To enter, all you'll have to do is like this video and comment with the word space somewhere in your comment. I'll wait two weeks from when I publish this video, then I'll pick one winner at random and announce it on my community tab. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss your name being called. That has happened way too many times on this channel when I've given away other items in the past. Good luck everyone. I find projects like these with an actual use case which solves real world problems to be great use of cryptocurrency and decentralization, while also being very profitable for us early adopters. I put a big focus on minor profitability on this channel because I think it's very important if you're going to treat crypto mining seriously like a business, which I do. Anyone who says profits are not important is probably starting to sell you some garbage. I can think of a few channels that do just exactly that. You know who they are. I'm really excited to see how GeoNet and Onacoy perform in this bull market. To learn more about some other highly profitable crypto mining projects I'm involved in, watch this video over here. Thanks for watching.